Bogwood simply releases tannins and gives us a more darker look to the tank. But to finish off with it looking a little more natural, I added, added in a couple hundred miniature uh, Indian almond leaves or catawba leaves. These are going to give it a more natural look, but they're also going to release some tannins in the water and also provide with some natural antifungal properties. So when the discus do lay eggs, if they don't fertilize them all, at least the ones that uh, are not fertilized are not going to rot and potentially in infect any others. Lighting on this is going to be incredibly simple. Just a couple of shop lights, LED shop lights. They're low in wattage. It's just enough to see the fish. Uh, and when it comes to breeding discus, a lot of the times, if you're finding you're having too much light, we can simply just kind of turn it's one just off. Just determined and to get boom. under that uh, hole. Feel a little you bit can't sit under that, that homie. Way. With that said, we do not want total darkness. A lot of the times in my breeding discus past, I wouldn't even have lights over the top. I would just use ambient light. And in the middle of the night, I would of course have a night light and or some sort of a lamp on close by so the fry can still find their parents. The dimly lit tank oh, yeah. also makes <laughs> Uh, if only I could swim that well. Of, you know, algae or anything like that. Because for the most part, we want to be hands off with this tank. We don't want to have to continuously be cleaning it or anything like that. Kind of want it to be self-sustaining. So, what did we do for filtration?